So this is just a quick video to demonstrate multiple level precedence and preemption on my switch. What I've done for demo and testing purposes is set the maximum number of outbound trunks from the switch to two. So there can only be a maximum of two uh, outgoing calls uh, from the switch. Um, and this is just you know, for the primary trunk group, it's not in including things like operator assisted calls and other kinds of calls, um, but just uh, normal outgoing calls on uh, NPSTN. So, um, so currently, like if I were to dial something, and I dialed something that's not on my switch because it has to be long distance. You can hear the call is going through. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to initiate two other calls first. So I'll do it first from this phone here. Let's see. I'm going to do my best one-handed dialing. Okay, and that call is now leaving my switch. Okay, so I just dialed something that, that won't answer. That'll just ring. And I can dial it uh, from another line as well. Okay, this is much easier. I'll just dial the same number. And uh, it's gonna be busy. Um, but that that's besides the point. The point is now I have two calls that have left my switch Okay, so I think uh, I think uh, the tone generator there is down but um, Or at least the the busy tone is down. But anyways now if I try to make an outgoing call on the third line Okay, so it's not going to go through because there's already two outgoing calls. What I can do is use uh, precedence or priority, request priority for the call and force it to go through. And I don't have a silver box or a fourth column DTMF, but I can just use this one on the computer here. It's got the, uh, the fourth column DTMF, so A for flash override, B for flash, C for immediate, and D for priority. By default, all calls are routine if you don't specify anything. In this case, both of these calls are routine. And I can use any of the priority levels. Um, not everyone can, but I can. So just to demonstrate, um, I'm going to get on a trunk. Okay, and if I couple this with the headset here um, and move the mouse over to one of the priorities, one of the keys with my elbow and try to click it. Nope, that's let off. Okay, I guess we're doing B now. Nope, that didn't register. Um, I think it's got to be a little bit louder. I can crank the volume up. Okay, now it should be louder. I may turn the volume down. Oh boy. Yeah, I turned the volume down. It's the other one. Now if I hit it. Okay, 
That's what we want here. Okay, so I fetted the B tone. I'm just gonna do the rest on speaker here. Um, Okay, so now you can hear this call was just kicked off, and now you hear a preempted tone. And this call is going through, but you hear a different ring back. It's the priority ring back, which is um, 1.65 on 0.35 off. And we're dropped back to dial tone here because after 30 seconds of Preempted tone, uh, it just hangs up and uh, you could try to make a call again. Now, if we try to do that, it would fail because I already have uh, two other calls. I have this first call up and I have this call up. We get all circuits busy on here too. Okay, so I guess what I could try to do is I'm not sure if this will couple right. I've tried this in the past and it hasn't worked, so I'm not really that optimistic, but let me just sit this down for a second. Okay, it worked. So what I did was um, I fed it the C tone. So this is going to be a immediate call instead of a flash call. So I can try to dial something. And you'll hear this call is now preempted. probably hard to hear with all the tones but what happened was this call now got cut off so that this call could go through and the reason that happened was because um, you know this was a routine call right this is this is a um, it was a flash call so I couldn't have prevented that because I only used immediate instead of and which is obviously lower than flash so even if this call had been made first, I wouldn't have been able to preempt that. And I would have preempted this call uh, regardless of the order in which I completed those calls. Um, yeah, so that's just a demo of uh, how that's all set up at this point. And that's it for now.